guys so welcome to our channel first time doing this i know it's gonna be fun just sharing information just sharing what's happening what's about to happen what will happen with you so today i am going to be talking about the experience so far and let you all know that we are expecting baby number two what <laughs> psych so today let me talk to you about shoulder dystrosia i don't know how many of you ever heard of that i have never heard of shoulder dystrosia in my life so let us go back seven years ago to when our first child was born zach and Asiel. <laughs> so let me tell you let me just summarize the delivery so zach and Asiel was a vaginal birth right all excited yes you're gonna have your baby naturally it's fun natural way to do it it will just pop out and everything will be good let me tell you something it wasn't like that now august 19 2014 was the day when i found out that i will have to be induced i had to stay in the hospital a week later because i was only 36 weeks and the doctors recommended that they should keep me back until 37 weeks so i could be induced for labor no i thought this was a normal process no, 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 no. You found out a couple of days before the okay. 40th. He was okay. born under 40. Yes. So yes. We found out a couple of days, maybe maybe the 17th or, or could I really say it? 17th or 18th. And then he was actually born on the morning, early morning of the 19th. At 2 19 on the 19th of August 2014. And that's what happens when you have a calculated partner. Fine. Okay, that's fine. I was in pain anyways. I feel like I'm I'm going through labor right now. But anyways, on the 14th, you know, things started out fine. Like 10 doctors came around me and said, okay, Mrs. Jones, this is what's going to be. That's, this is what's going to happen today. We'll have to induce you. It's a pill that we insert in the vagina. If one time doesn't work, we have to insert another pill. If the second pill doesn't work, then we'll have to do a c-section i was like oh my god god please just let the first one work or the second one because i cannot manage a section right now right so here comes the doctor with the pill he inserted it into my vagina yes and a couple hours after they checked me and i was like probably two centimeters dilated and i said all right yes it's just gonna go up and up until 10 and then i'll just psh, out the baby hours later like 10 <laughs> hours later oh my goodness at this four time centimeters. at this time it was four centimeters and it was top there by this time my mother and my husband they were just they had left the husband my mother was on her way to kingston and my husband was on the road baby thank you getting kfc for me getting whatever else i needed because this baby was hooked on the spices in a sandwich all the way right so by this time he was gone to get food and i was there in pain but thank god the first induction worked and i was in pain there for four centimeters they checked me a couple hours later i think it, i don't remember if it had moved yeah, yeah then it moved to six okay calculation it moved to six and then about 8 p.m that night my water broke after my water broke the nurse came and she looked after me and she put me in the wheel were you there at that time babe uh when i was wheeled up to the labor ward yeah i think i think i think i was yeah, there when you they had to meet me up getting there. ready to take right so then. she wheeled me up to the labor ward and I went to labor and I was put in a warm room because I was suffering from high blood pressure. No, I was diagnosed with pregnancy-induced hypertension or PIH. My blood pressure skyrocketed from five weeks pregnant until the end of pregnancy. I took like a couple months after pregnancy up until that time. Yeah. I took every blood pressure medication a pregnant woman could have taken. 
and the pressure just would not. Including the experimental ones, all the experimental ones that that, um, that Yui um, was experimenting with. Yeah, we had to sign like some polypa fine print like this thick with some waivers yeah, agreeing to be a part of, of this study and you know I was elaborate. some people Basically. were on the placebos and some were on the actual experimental high blood pressure drugs for pregnancy induced hypertension and nothing worked for me I was the one percent nothing worked and so in the labor ward thank god he sent a god sent midwife I will keep her name out of this video well, yes. she was God sent. That's a whole other story. We'll, 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 have, to, we'll have to give you that story yeah. how, how that midwife, Happen. how that nurse ended up being a part of this whole story. Because if she, she deserves her own, yeah. her own little episode. If she wasn't there, you wouldn't have known Latoya Elizabeth Berry Jones nor, nor Zakia and Asiel Asiel Easton, Easton Jones. Jones. Right? So I was in this warm room. In the in the labor room where they keep high a hypertensive mothers so i was high risk at how old was i when i had zakin 20 28 so then um, yeah 20, 28 years old mm -hmm. never had a history of hypertension but there was going through my nine months of pregnancy skyrocket hypertension stroke level hypertension um stroke level blood pressure readings and God, God kept us through this whole pregnancy. But there I was in the room, it, it was so warm, and I was naked and I had on the green, the green um, robe thingy that they give patients. The gong. Right? With my bam bam outside, of course, just the front cover. And all these things were strapped to my belly, the monitor, the baby heart monitor, I was hooked up to oxygen, everything. I was just, I was just strung up, literally strung up. And every time the pain would have hit, I would just have to hold on to the bed rail because I couldn't even squeal the amount of bad amount of pain I was in. And the nurse came in and she'd do her interval checks and my husband was there. He couldn't have come in at that time, but my mommy and, and he was there. And they allowed them to come in and to talk with me. I could hear them, but I don't know if I responded up to this day. I was in and out of it because the pain was so intense at that time. Anyways, the blood, anyways, the heart, the baby's heart, um, his heart, his his heart, heart rate started dropping. Heart, heart rate started a, dropping. On the monitor, it started dropping. It went down and then came back up because I was watching the monitor. Um, at, by this time now, nurse, nurse had stepped out of the room for a little bit. Um, and then it started dropping again and was just going down and down. Uh, nurse came back down in here. and um, she looked at the monitor and uh, uh, good thing is she she didn't let on that anything was serious she just said all right i need to check her again so just give me a few minutes and i'll call you back in the room shortly right and then she did her checks and she went out and then she came back in and then when she when she checked me again she said latoya you are at eight centimeters dilated and at eight centimeters for hours, I was in labor and I would not, it would not budge past eight centimeters. It would not move. It would not move. And so she, she, the baby head started coming out and then she said, call for the daddy. The daddy, daddy came in the room and she said, that's all you have to push like you're a mad woman. And so I did. I said, I did. Mm. She said, no, push like you're a queen. I'm like push I come for me. what if it comes out she said don't worry that's why we're here we'll clean it up just push and I made a big push and she said that's good that's good that's good and daddy was there that they had to come and hold my foot because by this time my feet were shaking like up and in the air <laughs> and he had to just hold them up for me thank god that they allowed daddies in because I don't know who would have held my feet and she said push and I did two more pushes and, and I heard plop and the baby plopped out now stay tuned for what happened after that stay tuned like subscribe okay. leave a comment share we're going to take you on this journey of the arrival of baby number two but we need to go back to baby number one 
So stay tuned for next episode.